Welcome back to my channel. I missed you all so much. I got sick last week and I'm still sick. I have been in bed watching Netflix and YouTube and sleeping and eating all day. And I told myself that's not okay with me and I need to film. I was like, I promised you guys a long time ago a drugstore makeup tutorial and now that prom is around the corner, I'm like, why not film a drugstore look for prom? So this is the look that I came up. I thought that it was a good warm brown, copperish, goldish look for you guys to do. So let's get on to the video. I am talking way too much. <laughs> So I'm going to start with brushing through my brows and I am using my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder which is my favorite eyebrow powder. I use it all the time. And to clean up my brows I'm taking one of my favorite drugstore concealers which is the Master Conceal from Maybelline. I love this to clean up the brows as well as brighten the under eye. It really reminds me of the Studio Fix concealer from MAC but it's way cheaper. <laughs> and I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Plumping Gel. I love it. So to start off with priming my eyes, I'm using this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I think it's pretty good for the price, but it definitely didn't make my makeup last as long as I wanted to. What really helped was the Revlon glitter that I put on top. But this one is very moisturizing, and I liked how it kind of evened out my eyelids. I'm also using a lip plumper. You guys know I love lip plumper. I love it. I just love it. <laughs> so for eyeshadow, I'm using this Mad for Matte e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. It's super pigmented and it's very pretty. For the price, I think it's okay. It was $10. I feel like it should have been around like 6 because I wish it was a little bit more pigmented. I do prefer the Wet n Wild eyeshadows palettes. They're like $6.99 and they're a lot more pigmented. I'm going to use it in my next tutorial. But I think this eyeshadow is alright. I definitely do prefer the Kat Von D Shade and Light. So I don't know about investing in this specific palette. I would just go for a Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. They're like $6.99 and they are way more pigmented. But I do like the colors that this palette does have. And I feel like they were super easy to blend out and super creamy to work with. There was a little bit of fallout, but they were very creamy in texture. So a lot of the technique that I use is using different shades of brown. Sorry, I was watching YouTube on the iPad. <laughs> but I really do like to layer the browns in my crease because I feel like it gives you a little bit more of an airbrush look. It looks a lot cleaner and it doesn't look like you just smacked a color onto your crease. Taking that same Maybelline concealer, I'm going to use it to create a cut crease effect. I'm using any synthetic brush that I have. I know that e.l.f. has a great one as well. But I am just using this to carve out my lid. I'm going a little bit higher than my crease and then I'm elongating it. Kind of towards where my brow actually ends. And using the concealer really helps with creating the shape that you want. It'll give you some coverage on the lid and you can definitely clean it up if you need to. So I'm using a... This is where I kind of had some trouble on the lid. First, I'm using a vanilla shade to kind of set that. And I was going to take this beautiful eyeshadow from Essence in Choco, Choco Chic. But when I was applying it, I realized that if I kept layering that, it would basically like defeat the purpose of the crease. So I used this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Duo Glitter Shadow, which is everything. I love these. Look how pigmented those are. Like, I absolutely love them. If I could buy every color, I would. I'm starting off with the base, which is a little bit more of like a copper shade, which you can totally use on its own. But I wanted this look to be a little bit more dramatic since it is for prom and we got to be extra for prom, of course. <laughs> it has like a dofo applicator and it makes it really easy to apply the glitter wherever you want it to. There is no fallout. You definitely do have to wait for it to dry because it's a little bit of a wet formula. So when I was applying it to my crease, I felt it transferring a little bit if I closed my eye. So I was just trying to like, you know, pose my eyes so that I wouldn't cross over my crease. <laughs> After waiting for it to dry, it does look really, really nice. It is so pigmented and in person, it looked even more amazing. The camera honestly isn't doing it justice. I highly recommend those glitter duo shadows from Revlon. I want every single color. I have like two other ones and I'm so inspired to use them with every look that I do. They're amazing eyeshadow toppers, 
or to use by themselves it's just it's so good look at look at that pigment like look at that it's so pretty Ugh, i wish my camera would stay in focus mm -hmm. i literally look like i'm about to sneeze so from the drugstore my favorite eyelashes are the grand glamour from vegas nay i do like other lashes too i think that ardell has pretty good ones but for prom i feel like you know you gotta be a little extra and these are the best, 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 what are they? lashes? <laughs> I forgot what they were. Wow, Ari. But okay, I'm going to prime my face. I like, I like love the NYX uh, primers. The Angel Veil is amazing. Any of like the photo, not photo finish, but like the photogenic ones, whatever. Um, they're very similar to the Smashbox ones and they're such good dupes. For foundation, I it is the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. It is full coverage, long lasting, and it makes your skin look absolutely perfect. I love this foundation. It lasts all day, and every time I wear it, people always ask me what I'm wearing. And you guys know that I work at Sephora, so sometimes it's a little bit awkward because I'm not wearing, um, you know, high-end foundation, and I'm kind of like, oh, well, I don't know what to tell you. But hey, L'Oreal's foundation is bomb. It lasts forever and it just makes your skin look poreless and perfect. Now I'm using one of my favorite concealers from the drugstore. It is the Master Conceal from Maybelline. I highly recommend this concealer. Like I really like it. I'm super picky with concealer too. I think it's it just lasts all day. It looks so bright under the eyes and it gives you such good coverage. That is just one layer of it. I didn't even want to apply more because I was like, oh my god, like I was so impressed with the coverage. And I'm using my NYX HD powder to set underneath the eyes and then I'm taking a brush and brushing the excess off kind of like around my cheeks and setting the rest of my face because it makes it look super smooth and baby butt soft. The NYX matte bronzer is amazing you guys should really focus okay <laughs> you guys should try this one because it makes your skin look like you just bronzed in the bahamas and it blends so well the shade medium is a little bit more terracotta on my skin tone i haven't swatched the other ones but i like to do kind of like a three you see that you see you see that three Mhm. Mm that's a three that's how i like to bronze up my skin with these like really orangey terracotta shades because they make me look a little bit tanner like I said, I'm sick, so I haven't really looked very tan, so this bronzer is really helping me. Now I'm using the Makeup Revolution uh, palette. This one I believe I got online on Ulta, but it's pretty inexpensive. And you get beautiful blush choppers, highlights, and contour shades that are amazing for light to medium skin tones. I'm using this one because it's a little bit more cool tone, and I'm using this in the hollows of my cheekbones so that I can really sculpt and look good in photographs. See that sculpt? suddenly gives my face some more dimension and I saw a fly sorry guys <laughs> I'm applying some highlight and I'm just going to layer some of that onto the high points of my cheeks look how pretty oh I love this palette it's actually one of my favorite eyeshadow not eyeshadow my favorite like blush bronzer highlight palettes from the drugstore this is my Milani blush in Dulce Pink the Milani blushes are amazing they're such dupes for the mineralized uh finish blushes from MAC and they're so much cheaper. Now I'm using the Glow Mist from Pixie, which I actually think is a great product. It's a little bit overpriced, but it does make my skin look super hydrated and very dewy and luminous. Since I'm using matte foundation, I do like to add a little bit of hydration. And I am just taking the highlight I used on my face onto the inner corner of my eyes. And I'm going back to the eyes while my face is setting. I'm just using the same color that I was putting in the crease Sorry guys, my camera keeps focusing in and out. How annoying. <laughs> but I am going to just complete the look and put some eyeshadow underneath my eyes and some lower lash mascara. Now I'm using a lip liner from NYX in Natural. It's the retractable one. I think it's just a beautiful, warm, nude shade. And then I'm going to use the best lip glosses in the entire world. And I'm talking about drugstore and high-end. The NYX butter glosses are everything to me. <laughs> And of course, you gotta touch up the glitter. How can you not? Oh. Alright guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you all enjoyed. I really miss filming for you guys. If you are going to prom, I hope you have a great time. I love you. Be safe. <laughs> Bye.